Hi, I'm Aika Kassel, the women's volleyball team captain and a graduating senior. Hello, good day. My name is Matt. Matthew Robin uh, Tiledesma. I am from the badminton team. Hi, I'm Mina Cruz, a senior and the outgoing table tennis uh, team captain of UANP. I played volleyball ever since and growing up, I didn't actually think that I'd do it in college until I had the opportunity to become an athletic scholar. So I'm um, having access to quality education at the same time playing the sport that I love. It became the opportunity that I wanted to grab and I didn't want to miss out on it. Honestly, I was very hesitant because before, um, I've never really heard of the team. So. Um, I didn't really have like common friends also who were part of the team because this was pre-pandemic. But when I heard that the team like needed, you know, like new rising or star players, I was like, maybe this can be my chance as someone who used to be um, a bit of pride or wanted to be a stunner before. So that's how I joined the team. So I joined table tennis back in 2019 when I was still in my first year of college and I was actually looking for a team or a school that offers um, a varsity team for for table tennis specifically because I was playing for 12 years already. So I wanted to um, hone my skills and still, um, you know, execute my passion <laughs> for table tennis. Um, a takeaway from um, joining the team is um, there's this line that our former captain once said and we all uh, we made it a mindset and it's the line hanggang makuha because um, in the team we never give up we never settle and we never stop learning and we don't even think about of quitting or stopping because in everything that we do we always do it together like our teamwork has been efficient and it's always I have your back and you have mine so yeah. One of the takeaways that I've learned so far is it's really um, sports. It's, it's not just a physical game. It's a mental game as well. Because in my experience in many tournaments, I've been in occurrences or instances where my stamina and my um, and physical um, capabilities were pushed to the limits. I feel like the time that you let your nerves like really get the best of you is honestly the moment that your chances of losing are a lot bigger. So maybe a key takeaway that I took from my team is a strong team is stronger together. So I learned this because of the hardships that we overcome with, especially during the pandemic because then you really tend to question your passion and what why are, why are you still playing this um, sport when you have no um, you have no leagues um, upcoming or you have nothing to train for. So specifically during this time, it was hard for everyone, but it was really different for athletes because then you were training for something, then everything went downhill from that. One of the hardships, I think the most challenging one, was coming back from the pandemic. Not because of the long break that we had, but for me, it was the huge responsibility. So I entered the team pre-pandemic as a freshie, and I didn't even get to finish my rookie year. Then coming back from the pandemic, my coach picked me as the captain. And so the switch from being uh, able to call Ates or being able to follow someone during gainings to being the one that you know, follow in the during gaining and they just like look up to you and of course the pressure is there but then I was able to um, get to like adapt with it through time and knowing that my coaches and my fellow seniors were there for me and they just supported me and trusted me that they keep on saying that andyan lang kami like you can do this and you got this. Now, they chose me and my coach chose me for a reason. Well, prior to pre-pandemic, um, I already was part of the team. We didn't really have like a structured team. We didn't really have any a coach um, to proper or like, unlike now. Um, I really feel like back then the team was very undervalued and I feel like I had to play multiple roles with being a student athlete and 
um, assisting with coaching since we didn't have a specific coach before. So um, how was I able to overcome this? Um, honestly, it was very difficult. I feel like um, I had to, it may sound very cliche, but I had to just really juggle all of those like multiple positions or roles. And like, um, I really had to separate my relationship with my other teammates as a student athlete compared to also helping out with coaching. Um, because those were those are where the boundaries are also blurred. When we came back to the university and when I was in my fourth year already, um, there was really little to little support from the university for athletes and it was hard for us to really um, gain that um, power from the university because you know when you're playing you really want the support and you really want to um, show them that you're more than just a, you're more than just an athlete. This was really something that we were really fighting for and with the help of the Office of Sports and Development, we were really empowered to just go with it and um, get the support that we already have and work what we have. And um, I think this really affected me as an athlete because sometimes you really get to to think about the things that who like who are you playing for what are you playing for and with the support of the OSP with my fellow friends and um classmates or blockmates you really see you really see the um the passion that you were that you had before and then also now i think the most important thing is I mean, everyone says it, time management. But for me, it's really been the most, like, the f biggest factor. Because here in UNP, we train from um, 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Then I have classes. We have classes all day. Then we have games on the weekend. So um, finding time to do requirements and group breaks and, you know, studying for everything. Like, we have to prioritize what we need to do. So um, I think that, Again, being a scholar really helped me and it motivated me because I don't want any of my commitments to suffer. I honestly feel like I thrive more on extracurricular activities, which are sports and um, which are, and arts. And I believe that it made me feel more as if I had purpose rather than help me with studies. Of course, it also helps with your with my my resume and other people's resumes in the future. But I feel like other than helping me with studies, I felt like it really helped me um, seek uh, value and purpose outside of just studying. So I feel like that is also in line with my interest as a student athlete. Uh, table tennis affected my playing in a good way, actually in a great way, because aside from table tennis, I also have other student interest groups that I am a part of. And with that, this really um, helped me manage my time, my skills. Table tennis became my avenue for de-stressing. So this really became my outlet to bond with my teammates, to um, aside from Aside from looking forward for them, you really get to de-stress and put your power or your anger from unfinished homeworks or schoolworks into playing. And with this one, it really showed me how table tennis was a big part of my life and how the university was a big part of that passion and that drive and Without UANP and the table tennis team and the Office of Sports and Development, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Different varsity teams winning the championships and um, gaining awards. I hope that it um, it inspires to the future batches of athletes that we can like thinking of bringing home the glory or the championship or awards. Like it seems impossible, but then it's not. Like we can do it with hard work and teamwork, and I can attest to that. And I hope that the community, the UNP community supports the varsity teams more than they already do. And for the future athletes and student athletes, I hope that you keep your passion in um, academic sports and to the university. Thank you.